If you're looking for a more affordable, relatively newer home in an award-winning public school district with easy access to the freeway, or if you're looking for land for your privacy or horses, then Vail, Arizona might be the community for you. Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona. And today I'm talking about the unincorporated area just southeast of the city of Tucson called Vail. If you love Vail, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video and comment below to let everyone know your favorite things about Vail. When you're ready to buy or sell a home in Vail or the surrounding areas, reach out to me and I'll help you get started. All my contact information is in the description below each of my videos, and I have many other videos on this channel describing things to do and see in the city. So check those out after this one and subscribe for my future Tucson content. So what does Vail, Arizona have to offer its visitors and residents? Vail is a family-friendly suburb of Tucson, known for its wide open spaces, horse properties, and mountain views. The Rincon Mountains are just to the north of Vail, showing off the beautiful Rincon Mountain District of a top Arizona tourism spot, Saguaro National Park. Vail is also visited by many because of Colossal Cave, a large cave system, and is popular with residents because of the high-ranking public schools. We'll talk more about Colossal Cave and Vail schools a little later in this video. Homes in Vail are relatively newer and relatively more affordable than houses in other parts of Tucson, especially the neighborhoods that are cookie cutter style with homeowners associations. But Vail is also home to those with a rancher or farmer lifestyle. And there is a lot of land available for sale that is relatively less expensive than other places around Tucson for folks who want to build custom homes. Because neighborhoods tend to be newer and more affordable, and because land is cheaper, Vail is a great place to live for everyone, from families who want a close-knit community feel, to people who want to build a custom dream home on some land, to people with horses, to folks who want to build bunkers in the middle of nowhere. There aren't a lot of private or charter school options in Vail, but the Vail School District is an award-winning public school district and even has been highlighted throughout the country due to its innovation. So many families move to Vail in the surrounding areas just to be close to the public schools. The Vail School District is recognized as a top performing school district in the state of Arizona. Every school that is eligible for the Arizona Education Foundation's a distinction has received the award. The residents of Vail have a lot of pride in the Vail schools and district, and it's easy to see why. Because Vail is close to Interstate 10, it is convenient for people who need to drive to other parts of the city. But it is unincorporated land in Pima County, so Vail does not have the same advantages as towns and cities do in terms of development. Even though Vail doesn't have the same amount of museums and shopping and other developments as other places in Tucson, it does offer some. Vail has a little bit more of a rural feel to it than other parts of Tucson because of all the open land and because of the lower population, which was around 15,000 at the time this video was made. But because homes are more affordable and schools are higher rated, it is a pretty family-friendly community, so it's not uncommon to see children playing together on streets and sidewalks. There are also plenty of family-related community events, including carnivals and sports for kids of all ages. I know a lot of people who live in Vail who are active or recently retired military. davis Monthan Air Force Base is about a half an hour drive from Vail, depending on where you live in Vail, and military families are drawn to Vail because of those schools and the family-friendly community feel. In general, Vail is primarily made up of families or just recently retired residents. About 30% of residents in Vail are under age 18, and over 60% are ages 18 to 65. That means there aren't that many people living in Vail who are over 65 years old. And that's different from some of Tucson's other areas and suburbs that are so popular with retirees and snowbirds. When you're checking out Vail, don't forget to stop off at Colossal Cave. There is some fascinating history connected to these caves. And today, you can take a guided tour through the caves, exploring their beauty and their mysteries. Oh, and they have bats. Right outside of the caves, there are picnic areas and trails, a cafe and a shop, not to mention horseback rides and stables. It's just a really beautiful area with a lot to offer anyone who's visiting. 
For hiking in Vail, check out any of those cool trails around Colossal Cave, and be sure to visit the Gabe Zimmerman Davidson Canyon Trailhead at Cienega Creek. There aren't as many restaurant options in Vail as other parts of Tucson, but if you want a local sit-down restaurant, make sure you check out Montgomery's Grill and Saloon or Arizona Pizza Company. Another popular spot is Argenzianos, known for their calzones. Delicious. What's your favorite thing about Vail, Arizona? Toss it down in the comments below. If you're ready to buy or sell a home in or near Vail, contact me and I'll get started working for you. All my contact information is in the description below each of my videos and check out some other videos on this channel to learn more about Tucson and the surrounding areas because every individual area of Tucson is very different from the next. Consider hitting the thumbs up button on your way out the door and subscribing for more Tucson and Southwest related content. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next video.